What's up everybody, welcome back. So today I am going to be showing you how to do a husky. So, um, portrait orientation, focusing on the face. Pretty similar to the, similar to the wolf one. So, yeah, we're gonna start with the eyes, right? So about the middle line of your page, that's where the eyes are gonna go. And we're gonna start with the dark black sort of section around the eyes. So center point, just about here, come over to the right, just a little bit, and we'll start curving a line up like so. Like this. And we're gonna make this into a sort of a, a lemon sort of shape, right? So it kind of spikes out the end here, like that. And then we're gonna curve it around. Okay this and then it's going to come down to the tear duct and around like that okay so it kind of it always reminds me of like a lemon or an almond or like a leaf if you drew the a line up the center so that's the shape for the eye okay and then the iris is just in here so it's just a semicircle just comes around like so Like that. So I didn't go the whole way up on this side because we're just going to add a darker line coming up along here. Like so. And then all around, in around here is going to be black. Mostly. If you want, you could leave like a shine or a highlight. Just on the edge of his eye there. Just to show that there's a bit of a bump. Not essential though, you could just colour the whole thing black if you wanted. I've seen them done both ways. Like that, and then finish this up here. So then that pupil. will just be in here. And color it in. Like so. So, So then the other eye, so we're gonna go over it just over here. So we could probably fit two eyes in between, just in here, two, approximately two. I'll measure it just to see. So that looks like it's about three and a half. Yeah. So one to there. Yeah, so you could probably fit about two eyes in here. Maybe like a little bit less, but you could fit about two eyes across. And then this, then we'll curve up the same way we did the other one. And then down the back. And then we'll make it into that sort of lemon shape again. So spike it there. Curve it around. Like that. And then bring it into a point down here. And then the iris is going to be in here. Curve it around. 
Some of it will be cut off at the top up here with this line and then color it in black. You can leave the odd white line or two just to show a highlight. But if not, that's okay too. And then the pupil. Just up here as well. Like so, don't worry if they're not perfectly symmetrical. Most things in nature aren't perfectly symmetrical. Contrary to popular belief. Okay, so so the eyes on a husky and like a lot of dog type animals are halfway between say the nose, like the middle of the nose and the top of the head, right? So if we place, so the top of the head is say here, in between the ears now is what I'm talking about. So like here, okay? Just if you're looking to place things. So this distance will be the same down to about the middle of his nose, right? So he, like his nostrils. Or just underneath them maybe. So this distance will be the distance to, say, the bottom of his nose, right? So just down here. So we have this sort of V, right? So we have from here to here is about the same as from here to here. See that? And that's the bottom of his nose, right? So they're proportions of the husky's face. So then that nose, so coming out from that V, we'll do the nose coming around. So we'll bump it around here, bump it around like so. And then this comes around this side, this comes around this side. Again, don't worry if they're not exactly the same on both sides. You'll make it look actually a little bit more realistic if they're slightly different on both sides. I know that sounds contradictory, but it's true. And then this comes up, curves over, down the other side. Then we will have a nostril just in here, big black hole. kind of closes over the nose on that side. We do the same thing over this side. Like so. And dark black inside. So then we have just that line up the middle. So like just up here. And maybe a bit of a bumping line coming across the top, but kind of broken maybe, because it's only like skin or something. Like so.
like so. And again, don't worry if it's not the exact same on both sides. It really doesn't have to be. Okay, so down from this then, we can do the mouth. So it's gonna curve down both sides like that. Like giving it like some legs or something. <laughs> and then this is gonna curve around up the snout. So it's gonna come up. It can be a sketchy sort of hairy line if you want it to be, of course. Like it's gonna come up the side of his face. Like up like this, okay? And this side is going to do pretty much the same thing. Up like so. And then we'll have the sort of side of the snout. So like this side that comes up like so. And then maybe like a line up the center with some hair growing out maybe either side. Like that. So then the bottom lip just down here, again, it can be hairy, bumpy or straight. It's up to you, whatever sort of style you want to do it in. I'm just gonna do sketchy, sort of hairy lines. And then we can see kind of a shadow just in here or like some of the dog's black lip just in there. So then just at the side here, we can see some of his mouth. So like just a shadow or a curved line. It's just beside the top of his nose, just coming down. So some of the, like his open mouth, okay. Just over here as well. It's like the side of his gums or lips that come up the side. That's what that is. And then we have some of his fur coming up this way. Just underneath his eye. Going off up here. Like that kind of spikes out a little bit there. And you might have a little bit coming up towards his eye up this way. We do pretty much the same thing over this side. Doesn't have to be the exact same, remember. We're just adding some fur around the face. That's all. Okay, so then we're gonna add some details just around the eyes. So Siberian, I think it's a Siberian Husky, so they have like a dark black section that comes across the top of their eyes, so coming out from his eye here. So we're gonna bring out kind of a curving section. Comes up the center here, like that. And then it'll kind of come back down around like so. And then we have a section just above the eye. So like an eyelid or an eyebrow sort of line comes down the side and maybe some underneath his eye as well. Kind of like that. You do that pretty much on the other side as well. So hairy. Line like so. 
comes down into there. And then we have the eyelid line. Like that. And maybe a bit that goes underneath the eye as well. Like so. And then we have a few patterns, dark black patterns that are around the eye. So coming down here, like this, spikes back in, curves around his nose, so like down into here. And then it goes up around, up into the center of his head, like that. Goes right up and it has a spike up in the center of white hair. So in here is white, but all the outside's black. So this is like the pattern of the wolf's fur. This dark black sort of pattern that goes around his eyes, down his snout, just here, back up into the tear duct area, up into here. So all in here is black, okay? And all around here will be black as well. So, so he, yeah, so he's kind of got like a white face mask kind of on down here, and then it's black up the top here. So to draw that in, we've got to sort of do the ears first and then do the side of his face, right? So, ears up here, so real tall sort of ears. Like so, and this is gonna come down the side of his face, right? And again, they can be hairy, hairy lines, like so, okay? So this then is gonna come out, kick out, so it's gonna like come out wider. They have real wide faces. And this is gonna go down towards his neck. And like it'll join his shoulder and everything. So that goes straight down, right? Like so. Pretty much the same on the other side. So we go up for the ear, back down. It's the kind of shape we're going for. Kind of gets wider about here, about the eye area. And then we bring it down. Bringing it down, this one sort of comes out to a bump here for his shoulder. Comes down like so. Okay, so now we just have to separate the white section of his fur from the black sections of his fur, especially on his face. So, boo, on the, coming around, so it's like black on his forehead. So this is all black. This in here is white, so we're gonna keep this line going around his face, like this. This is gonna come all the way down, on, right underneath his chin, this sort of hairy line. Come down to here, like so. And this is gonna grow down his neck, so it's gonna come down to like a furry section underneath his chin. This will go down like that. You know, and there'll be like little bits of fur that are in here.
and then we're going to go up the other side of his face, right? So, so say like, same as this, we'll do it over the, at, at the eye, so, furry, so coming down the side of his face, around into the bottom of his chin, hairy sort of scratchy line, if you want, of course, depends on what style you're going for, if you're going for more of a cartoony style, you could do, I guess, a straighter line, maybe. And then this is going to come down to this sort of beard that he has kind of down here. Or just, it's a pattern basically for his fur. Coming down into here. Like so. And then maybe we could do another sort of line for his shoulder, just coming down, say, this way. Like so. Something like that. Right, so then the ears. So we have, again, the inside of the ears is white, the outside is black. So we'll separate that just with a sort of hairy sort of spiking line. Coming down like so. So that now closes off this black area here. And this will do the same thing over here. Like so, and it'll go yeah, off up here. So in here is black. So that all in there. Black around here. So, and then we just add some fur to the inside of the ears and a black edge. So, there's a black line that runs up this way. Comes down to here. Maybe curves in a little bit there. And then this comes up like so on the other side. And we'll go sort of into here kind of doesn't go the whole way down but then you may have um some furry sort of sections inside right so 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 say like here so we have some like fur growing like this way this growing in towards the ear covering the actual entrance to the the ear itself so like growing up in here there might be some coming around like so and growing off this way as well maybe some here and that means you just have to darken up. If you're doing it like a dark pencil drawing, you just need to like darken up in here. So I do recommend a pencil for these, of course, but if you're doing like a more illustrative type of thing with a black marker, you need to add sort of a shadow in here. Or at least I think we do. Let's see how it looks. So this is kind of the ear hole or ear canal and it's dark inside. Something like that. And then we do that over here. So again, hair growing this way. Mm-hmm. 
so. And then we got to do a dark shadow kind of thing inside here. Something like this. Just going to add a line just coming around the brow here. Just think it needs it. Just to show where his kind of forehead is. I know if you were cutting this in black, you probably wouldn't see this anyway, but I think it just needs a little extra something coming around his head here. just to show kind of that uh, shape for his head. Yeah, I think that is better. Okay, now, how to draw a, a husky. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.